Ja, maar ik kan het niet meer. Ik doe. Hey, special day. Today is the day I make a forge for doing really funny long stuff. Yeah. So this will be a sword forge, if you like. I'm not gonna. No intention of making any swords. I want to make some big machetes and stuff. But um, we're gonna start off with this gas bottle, chop it lengthwise in half, and then uh, then go from there, right? That's all the heavy work done. So now we've got a trough for the coal to sit in. Yeah, this top bit here. What was the gas bottle? Um, three separate diffusers for the air. So we're going to pipe um, pipe air in at pressure, and and that will come out of the uh, the one eighth holes I've put all along the uh, the tube, which is now facing into the trough. So I should give an even 
uh, evenly disperse the air into the coal, but because um, you can't guarantee that, and because the centre is always going to get hotter because it's got the heat from the the two end pieces as well, I want to be able to throttle these down individually, yeah. Um, and maybe I'll only use two thirds, a third, or maybe I want all three of them going, but I want to put less air into the middle. So now I've got to make some pipe work, go into a, to a few valves, and then go into the blower, and uh, then make a little stand for it, and uh, lick a paint maybe, and we'll fire it up. I extended the blower pipe back around underneath the forge. I'll put a little metal hood over the blower so uh, hot stuff doesn't fall on it, but um, if I leave it outside, it's not gonna be the end of the world then because the, uh, the blower will get a bit of shelter. Um, I'm just gonna stick some legs on it. And I'll put it the right way up and we'll, we'll see what we got. I've cut some legs out of a uh, galvanized conduit. Um, I weld them on, you don't need to see that bit. It'll be pretty boring. See you in a minute. long forge so the stand went on I gave it a coat of red oxide paint um, we've got the blower off of my other forge so I'll switch and change between them that's okay uh, it's cheap so I might get another one you know they're only like 10 quid or something um, feeds feeds air along this larger diameter pipe then up into the uh, three in the middle sections through these routes so we can switch off the middle one end um, uh, into the trough at the top. So the trough that all came out very nicely. Obviously I still don't know if this is gonna work and uh, I expect the success of this will be down to my control of the fire as it always is with coal and that but we'll just demonstrate uh, shutting off shutting off each end of the tree. I'm not sure if you can appreciate that. We're in daylight here and it's quite hard to see glowing red metal in the daylight, but um, we've got a, oh we did, it's gone instantly. We had a lovely, uh, lovely even color throughout this, uh, throughout this bit of steel. So, until I can try this properly on a machete or something, uh, I am gonna count this as a success. Look, it's lovely, and, lovely and floppy. <laughs> Stay tuned and uh, I'm going to 
knock up a couple of machetes. The machetes are, are going to be um, going to stop away. To, to heat treat them, I haven't got anything up until now to uh, to put put a quench on them. So um, that's they're going to be the main main purposes, main function of this uh, this long forge, just to uh, just to heat treat my machetes. Okay, all right. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, stay tuned um, for for machete shenanigans and all the rest, and uh, like and subscribe and, and all the rest if you haven't already. Um, cheers, guys. Bye bye.